Hi planner friends, it's Sydney from Sid Plans It Out. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be planning in my big vertical happy planner that I use for memory, journaling, creative journaling, all the good things. And we're going to be planning for the 13th through the 19th, which is crazy, but that's where that's what we're planning for. And for this week's spread, so I originally didn't really have a plan. Like I had a slight idea of like, oh, that would be kind of fun because um, I just got the rainbow edit, the functionally chic rainbow edit box set from Live Love Posh. And I was like, oh, I could do like, I haven't done a ton of spreads with the Papillon sticker book. So let's do florals and butterflies. And then I was like, but then, so I'm part of um, Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble. I'm part of her Patreon. And I'm sorry, this is crooked. Okay. Um, I'm started, part of her Patreon. And every month she gives us a challenge and this month's challenge was to create a sunshine spread and I was like oh my gosh this is gonna be so fun so I have some things here so I have these sunglasses that I cut out of this paper which is this paper not like freaking adorable I'm so excited. Like I have two more pages of it and uh, I'm really excited. And then I cut the circle out of, hold on, I have the page somewhere. Oh, here. Out of this piece of paper. Obviously it looks just like that. And um, they came out of this Park Lane paper pad, this season's paper pad. I got this at Joanne and it has like all this seasonal paper in it. But when I bought it, I hadn't really looked at the summer stuff and the summer paper. Like, look at this. I can't wait to use this too. But like all this paper is so cute and I don't use it enough, obviously, because this is a huge thing of paper and I have not made any sort of dent in it. So I cut out this circle. This was my original idea because she said sunshine, right? So my original idea was, okay, the sun. So I'm going to glue this down and then like create sun rays off of it. And then I was like, well, the sun, let's bring in these adorable sunglasses. So I have those. And then I, I joined, um, Elisa from the scrappy wife. Um, she has a, a group for like, she has, um, like a website and whatnot. And she has a class for like Bible journaling. And I joined that and one of some of the printables included these cute girls and these girls are all wearing sunglasses. So I was like, let's bring them in. I watercolored them with watercolor paint or I painted them with watercolor paints. Um, this girl ended up a little orange. That girl's lips ran, but you know what? It's fine. I had fun. They were fun to create. And then I was like, okay, I want something else. So in this orange blooms from Love Love Posh, first of all, I think I want to use the, some of these days of the week because I think it'd be fun to bring in orange in here as well. And then these hibiscus flowers are so pretty, but obviously I want to save some of them, but like I'm going to pull out this page <laughs> and if I don't use them all, that's fine but I have them at least. So, all right. So yeah, I have a ton of things here. So now that we've been sitting here for, you know, four minutes, let's actually, uh, do some planning. So I'm going to start by taping this down and I have my Tombow, uh, mono adhesive here. Um, you can see, I thought I wanted the circle to be that size. Actually what it was is this was the size circle that I had like something that I could trace. And then um, I decided that that wasn't gonna be big enough. So I just made it bigger. <laughs> so yeah, that's fine. I thought it would be fun. So I kind of freehanded the circle, kind of not, you know? Also, these edges are probably going to stick up. 
and bother me, but that's okay. And I should not have put the tape right there because I'm going to cut this in half, but you know what? It's fine. It is what it is. I'll just put it this way instead of this way, which was my original. Actually, I think it can go this way. Whatever. It's fine. I'm sure. Actually, I guess I should put tape like along here so that it actually sticks on the inside. I'm sure I'll have to do some more, some more taping slash gluing once I cut the pages apart. But you know, it's, it is what it is. I think this is going to be so cute. Okay. We have a start. Go me. All right. So now that we have our sun, let's actually make it look like a sun. So I'm going to take a marker. I was thinking that an orange marker for the rays, but maybe I do yellow and then I like put some orange streaks through it or something to give it some more dimension. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're just going to start with this. And I'm just going to wing this, I think, because I don't think I have the patience to like draw, pencil them in first. So we're just going to wing it and whatever happens, happens. And if it looks terrible, you know, it, it happens. This is just a Crayola super tip because they're cheap and I have a million of them and they're really pigmented and I like them. So that's what we're going with. I should have cut this apart in theory while I do this, but also I think that if I cut it apart, they would end up looking kind of wacky. Now I feel like one needs to go right down the spine and I have regrets because that's not going to be easy. Let's just draw another one right here and then, um, We'll go from there and, oh boy, I'm probably going to end up speeding this part up because I don't know that you need to sit here and watch me struggle through this or I'll just, you know, it'll magically be done, you know, in, in the magical world of YouTube. I'll just come back and it'll be done. We'll see what happens. It's not going to be perfect, but you know what? I think that is half the fun is to just create things on paper, right? I think that's half of half of the fun of decorative planning, right? Okay, so I have my sun rays. Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh, you guys, I already love this. And all I've put down is this. Maybe I won't use those florals. Maybe I don't need them. You guys, I don't think I need them. I think I'm just gonna put in boxes and these girls and these sunglasses. And I think that that is going to be a spread, you know? Like it's, I mean, it's big and it's bold and it is 
amazing. I'm obsessed with this. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I love it. I think I do want to put in some of these. I think I do want to put in the days though at the top. Jeez. Maybe in like this color because it's like kind of yellow, kind of orange. So I think that'll work. Let's do it. I don't think I maybe I, I was gonna say I don't think I've ever redated but that's a lie because I've redated it in like my horizontal before I don't think I've ever at least not that I can remember I don't think I've ever redated a vertical spread I mean I, I could very well be very wrong but I don't like remember ever redating um a vertical spread so I don't know maybe who knows I'm really like really excited about this spread though you guys it's so cute <laughs> like I literally have put one thing on this page and this might be like one of my favorite spreads isn't that funny how that works sometimes you like will have spreads where you go through and you do so much and you put down all the stickers and you're just like eh, it's okay and then you do something like this where you put down like one thing and you're like oh my god this spread because <laughs> that's kind of how I'm feeling right now okay well I did pull out orange boxes but now I'm thinking maybe I need yellow boxes hmm where where is yellow boxes let's see um none of these tones really match That one's too mustard. That one's really bright. I feel like this one's too pale. Um, hmm. Maybe in Functionally Chic, we use this like golden color. I do feel like I need more than one color though. What do the yellow boxes look like in this? They're also relatively bright. I don't, maybe I just use the really light color, like the really light. I think I'm going to use this color and then, well, I was thinking that really light yellow, but maybe the really bright one. Sure. Why not? Let's just, let's just go with it. I also need quotes. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't get that far. Whoops. I think I want this here. I also don't even know how many boxes I'm really going to like put in here. Okay. And I need to figure out where the girls are going to go. So I have three girls and then I have, I think two, four, six, I have seven pairs of sunglasses. So I, this pair, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed with them. So let's just kind of start laying things in, I guess. I feel like maybe I should have like thought about the spread more before I painted these girls. But at the same time, I think that they're really fun being in like random colors, you know? I don't know. Maybe they're a little much, but I kind of like them. So we're just going to go with it. Maybe I'll put some sunglasses on the sun. <laughs> I mean, you can like tell that they're closed though. I guess I could put these ones on there because you can't really tell that those ones are closed. That, that would be hilarious. Those are so tiny. I kind of like that, but also like, I don't know. Um... I do feel like it's going to need like more elements though, you know, like I feel like if I just put down like the sun and the sunglasses, maybe I won't use these girls. Maybe I'll just do the sun and sunglasses and then some quotes. So let's see, I have the summer book here. 
Are there any quotes in here? Anything that I feel like will match this spread? Okay, I really, I feel like hoarding this sticker. It says summer makes me happier than a seagull with a french fry. And honestly, like, is there a better quote than that? <laughs> Maybe that's what we bring in. Maybe we bring in this sticker and then we bring in like pink boxes. Are there any other stickers kind of like that? There's that one. So then maybe we do pink and yellow boxes. That might, that might work actually. So, okay. So I want to use this because it's hilarious <laughs> and I've been hoarding it. And then we could bring in this as one of our boxes. And then let's uh, pull out pink. Let's pull out JoJo's pink first. Hmm. That's very purple to me. Is that just me? But like that seems like more like a purple color than pink. Uh, that one could work. What did the pink look like in here? I don't think I've ever had such an adventure with boxes. <laughs> I think I like this one. Yeah, I think I like that color. Okay. Also, this box, this book is like printed kind of purpley. That's kind of weird. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if that's just not mate. I don't know. I don't know. Oh gosh, that was loud. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's bring in some pink boxes and maybe just like that golden color. I don't think I'm gonna use JoJo's boxes for this. I think I'm gonna bring in this pink color, these boxes, and then this like golden orangey type color. And then I'll probably pull in some more quotes from Amber Plants for Day. So one of these needs to go on this side and one of them needs to go over here. That was a rude sticker book. Maybe we'll put this one in the sidebar. And then put Maybe I'll put it on top of a pair of sunglasses. I just want something to cover that this week and I don't want to like <laughs> deal with it. You know? Hmm. Could do that and take, sorry, I'm just going to have this sticker book to the side because I have too many things happening. <laughs> also, the different thicknesses on these is probably going to bother me, but we're just going to go with it. All right. So we'll put this here for Sunday. Wow. That's crooked. Holy moly. How did I put that down so crooked? I could not tell you. I still feel like that's crooked, but we're just going to go with it. I'm going to white that out. I was trying to avoid, you know, using white out. Hence, you know, putting sunglasses with that quote where it doesn't really need to be, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. And then maybe this pair of sunglasses. If I could, geez. Okay. I still really want to put those on this sun. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of crazy, but I kind of really like it. All right, let's bring in, so there's not going to be probably a ton of boxes on this spread because I don't really want to cover up the sun with boxes. So I don't know, this will, this will be interesting here. The only complaint that I have about this Live Love Posh book is that there's no, um, there's no squares. She didn't put any square size boxes. There's only, oh gosh, there's this size, there's smaller, and then there's like the really skinny ones, like the header boxes and the full size boxes. But that's it. Like there's no, there's no um, 
square boxes. And that really bothers me because <laughs> I really like the square boxes. All right, but you know what? It's fine. We're just, we're going to make it work. Oh, I just realized though that I already put this bright yellow sticker in the sidebar. So I guess I do need to bring in some of those. That's fine. That's where I'll get my squares because I just really like squares. All right. I just think it's a very satisfying size. Should we make like a weird mega cluster over here? Huh, why not? That's kind of fun. Maybe we'll put a pair of sunglasses down here. Like there maybe. I don't even know if I'm in frame. I'm I'm very sorry. Okay. <laughs> and then I really want to put those there. I don't even care. I don't even care that they don't really like go necessarily because they definitely are not meant to like, cause they're folded, but you know what? I don't even care. I think it's cute and we're going to go with it. Maybe I'll even draw him a little smile. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just put the sunglasses on because I kind of like the sunglasses. Also this, that does not need to be there. <laughs> I don't know you guys. Maybe I don't even need this pair. Maybe I cut too many. I got a little carried away. I just really liked them. <laughs> so I wanted to use all of them. But I definitely did not need all of them. So it is what it is. We're going to bring in, well, I was gonna bring in this to layer on there, but I'm not going to do that actually because It'll then be like right across from that. So yeah, we're not going to do that. I think maybe we'll put this here and layer this one with it. This is going to be like weird placement of boxes, like I said, because there's not a ton of room for boxes, but I'm not really mad about it, honestly, because I'm obsessed with this and I will definitely, like I said, this is like my like journaling planner. So I'll write like all through here. That is not a big deal to me. I might even write on the sun. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to write in these spaces. So we'll see how it goes. It'll be an interesting after the pen, I think, but I think it'll be fun. I really like these sunglasses. Maybe I don't want that pair though. Maybe I want this pair. I just feel like that pair looked weird down there for some reason. I like this one better, I think. Or maybe this one needs to go up here and a more neutral pair needs to go down here. Maybe it needs to go there. And then we'll put these here. Okay. And then we'll put those ones there. Those ones up there. I feel like they're pretty evenly dispersed. So I think that's good. I'm totally leaving those there. They're too cute to not be there. So that's what we're going with. I kind of think that that's all the boxes I'm going to put in. Eh? <laughs> I don't really know. I kind of think it's enough, which is interesting but you know it is what it is let's let's glue these glue these babies down here I'm gonna grab just this loose piece of paper here and I'm just going to put glue all over it and I like to use the paper when I want it to go like off the page that way I don't get it everywhere and we're just gonna put these right here. It's too cute, you guys. I couldn't resist, I had to. I know it's a little bit silly because they're folded, but I don't even care. I, I had to. <laughs> it had to be done. The sun needed a pair of sunglasses, okay? Is that logical? Absolutely not. But like how much cuter are like little suns when they have sunglasses on? so much cuter. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're making the sun so much cuter. 
that's that's just how it has to be <laughs> in my opinion also I have no reason or business to be filming this right now because it's like almost 11 o'clock at night and there's no reason that I need to be up right now or that I should be up right now I just I have been dying to make this spread since I like came up with this idea so I just needed to do it <laughs> just needed to get it done so I could see it because it's literally been in my head for like, mm, I don't know, multiple days. Also still filming very far in advance, but it's been like multiple days that this has been in my head and I just, I needed it to happen. I needed it to happen because it's so stinking adorable. You guys, look at how cute this is. I can't even handle it. All right, let's see. Maybe there are like other little things in here that I want. I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, Like I would like to use some of these little icons, but at this point, would it be bringing in like too much? Oh, I could use, so I did bring in like this box has gold. So I could use some gold quotes instead of like bringing in quotes from Amber Plans or Day. So let's do that. I like this one that says hello sunshine. I feel like that's appropriate and needs to go on this spread like right here next to the sun. Adorable. What else do we have? Um, let's see. Lazy summer days maybe. Oh, there was one I thought that said family something. Oh, family vacay. I don't really want it to say that. I was thinking like family time would be good for Sunday because, wow, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. Because Sunday is, um, you know, Father's Day. There we go. It's like, uh, you know, the thing. <laughs> uh, the struggle of words. It's fine. Let's see. Let's use this one that says sweet tea and sunshine. So lazy summer days. I'm also trying to like pay attention to where I put them to make sure that I'm not taking away like the little bit of writing room on certain days. <laughs> Cause like there's not a whole lot of writing room on Tuesday. There's very little on Wednesday. Granted, I'm going to be on a work trip. So I don't really know how much there's going to like be. So maybe I don't even need this one that says lazy summer days. Because I've now put, I have three quotes and they're like, you know, in a little triangle thing. This pen, you guys, this was so simple, but it's so cute. I'm obsessed. Okay. I'm obsessed. Yeah, I really, really, really like this spread. Okay, I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to flip this over and this is going to be blank because... Like I said, I'm still filming very far ahead. <laughs> so have not uh, reached this point yet. Um, when I do reach this point, I would say when I reach this point, I won't even be here anymore. But I will if it was like, you know, Thursday. I would still be here, but. Okay, this is so cute. I just realized though, I'm gonna end up punching straight through those sunglasses. But you know what? It's fine. It is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna take my crocodile punch and I'm gonna punch out these holes and hope that this is still cute. Even with the holes punched, you know, a girl can dream, right? We'll see. It's obviously not going to be as cute because it's the hole punch, but it's still cute. Yep, still cute. I still like it. <laughs> Which is good because, you know, I did work on it. So I'm glad that I still like it. And because it's been in my head for so long, I would have been sorely disappointed if I ended up not liking it. <laughs> you know, do you ever like you have those ideas in your head and you're like, yeah, I need to do this. And then you like don't end up liking it. Also, I feel like I already said this but 
I'm glad that I like this spread. Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't have filmed this right now, but I just felt like it needed to be done. Okay. I also feel like it just needs like something else, but I don't know what, you know, like it needs something. What though? What does it need? What is it missing? I'm really not sure. Maybe like, maybe what I'm thinking it's missing is like sparkles. I was looking at a sticker book earlier that had like sparkles on the last two pages, but I really could not tell you what sticker book it is. Okay, I figured out what sticker book it is. So I was looking through the Pride sticker book and there's like this page of rainbow splatter, but then there's also this gold. And I think that some of this needs to go in here. I just, I feel like, I feel like it will add like that little oomph that I feel like this spread is missing. And I think I'm gonna start by putting some at the top because that just, that just makes sense to me. So we're just gonna grab some of this and put it at the top. And then, I don't know, that might be it, honestly. Like maybe it just needs to be at the top, but I definitely feel like it needs a little something, you know? Like that already, I like it so much better. <laughs> which is so funny, like just one little thing. And you're like, oh yeah, that's, that's way better. Let's put this here. And then I'm going to have to take these back out so I can cut them. But I think that is just fine. And then I'll use the scraps to fill in the rest of the spaces. I definitely cut the paper. Gotta love that. I'm really good at that. Oh my gosh. Now I can't get the paper off the sticker. Okay, good enough. But now it's stuck to me. All right, this is fine. I'm just, you know, casually struggling. Nothing new there. All right, we're gonna put that one there. And then I'm, I'm not even going to play with those scissors. I don't know why. I don't know why I try. Because I feel like, well, actually I do know why. Because it definitely, like those little scissors, sorry, I need this closer to my face. Um, those little scissors do better, like getting close to the edge. But they're not fun for like trying to cut across. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm so glad that I remembered what sticker book these were in. It took me a minute, but I figured it out. And that is all that matters, is that I figured it out. Because I am already in love with this. Just this little extra touch. I mean, I was in love with it before, this little extra touch, but I think this definitely added... What I felt was missing from this spread. Okay, that's so cute. I love it so much. All right, let's make use of what we've got left over here. I'm gonna put this one this way so then I can take off this piece and also use that. And then I'm just gonna like cut off this corner that I created. And, oh, I'm gonna need just like a little bit more of this, I think, to fill in this side because I used like smaller pieces on this side. And I feel like I want it to be more full than it is. I think I just need like one more piece, probably not even a full piece to just fill that in. I mean, I could leave it, but like this side, it goes across all of the numbers. So I feel like I want it to go across all of the numbers on this side, even if it's just like a tiny bit like this. 
We'll just cut off this little touch. And then we'll cut off this little touch. And then like this is clear, you know, clear sticker. So I can cut it however I need in the future. All right. I am much happier with this now, which is hilarious because all I did was add something to the top, but I think it made a really big difference. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking it out with me and I hope maybe you got like some new ideas or something. Um, but yeah, thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.